How big is the crowd there right now? We didn't quite make it down before we. Oh, we, uh, we got like uh, about 300 people. 340. Give or take. How long you been out here? I've been here like a week now. Everyone you walk by, you can like wave to and get a smile or like you know throw your hand up and like okay, hooked up whatever. You can get like some kind of positive reaction. <laughs> Not like on the street when you walk by someone and be like oh hello. They're just like. So there's a sense of community, camaraderie that, that's missing from everyday life. Yeah. Like, this is good. Like, these, these marches are great. But we need to, like, we really need to fix our body first. Like, we have, like, a body of people that can do something great here. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's got, like, spastic arms that keep punching itself in the face. Because, you know, we got people arguing about their views and, like, you know, there's people get upset with each other just like anywhere else. But, like, we can, like, be better than all this stuff out here, like be better than only looking out for number one and like, I live by survival. Like, if we actually have people like thinking, like thoughts of like pure love and like thinking that serving others is the only thing that really matters, then we could like, I feel like stuff would just come to us. It sounds like what you're calling for is a revolution of values. Yeah, like exactly, like no more hip hop, dude. I mean, I know, I, like I respect hip hop for whatever, but dude, all they talk about is their orgasms and their money and then like they're they're pr they're I'm proud of doing that too. It's like you know I, I listened to a song about uh like a man being with another guy's woman and then like how they're good at not getting caught or something. You know, I mean you know like song used to be about glorifying the Lord and like praising like kings and armies for winning over over evil. You know and like now like stuff's just like gone really morally down the drain, yeah. You know? So what you're saying is this is not just a political or economic movement, this is a, a cultural movement as well. Yeah, like, like we need to show people, like, just anyone who comes in there or comes through, like, that we're, like, so grateful for all the, do like, people have been donating water and food for free, and musicians have come and played, and, like, I don't know, if we just show everyone that we're so grateful and then, like, try, like, then, like, reach out to them, actually, like, look them in the eye and, like, try and feel their heart. Yeah. If we like get that like message off to people when they come to talk to us, then I mean, how could people just not want to keep coming? I mean, it's like a it's like a crazy like festival or something in there. It's like tents, like everyone's sleeping there. You know, there's people playing music in the mornings and then. So what was cooking. it that brought you out? Are, are you uh, are you a student? Are you graduate? Are you uh, unemployed? Are you underemployed? Well, you see, How is it you have the time to spend down you here? See, uh, well, it's a funny thing. I actually just came here from Virginia to be homeless and play music on like Hollywood and Vine. But then I like found these guys at a train station. They're like, hey man, there's a protest. We can play music down there and there's water. And like, you know, I don't really have that much money. Music and water and friendly people. Yeah, and then like people trying to do something. 